Just to let you know, Gary, they didn't let me in on the movie because I'd make them look too fat. <laughs> Jake Herbert at the training center getting ready in the first camp um, for the World Championships. How's that sound, Jake? World Championships. I've been writing it down. I want to, well, I will win my world title on a world championship team. I will win a world title on a world championship team. That's what I want. And La Las Vegas sounds like the best place to do it, isn't it? It's been a little bit since we had a, a world championship team. We got the coach for it. Yeah, that's that. true. Coach Burnett was the coach of those teams that yep. won for freestyle. Yep. I mean, how much does that drive the guys in this room to win as a team? Everyone always hears about your individual journeys, but tell us about how big a deal it is to be on a, a great team. That's, that, that's what we feed off of one another. You look at Iran, you look at Russia, they feed off of each other. They got such national pride, such team pride. Now this is just day one, I can't for me. So I want to get in and start to get that team unity doing because when I go out and I see, you know, Metcalf, you know, win an awesome match and win a world title, I'm going to be like, man, Metcalf has a world championship. Why, I want one. I don't want to be the only guy in the team not getting a world title. Jordan's going to get a world title. I want one. So you got to have everybody that's going to be, you know, that little extra motivation to get up there. Now, some people were wondering, that's just how good is, uh, Jake Herbert going to be this year and you had a good open you had even better trials so how's Jake Herbert going to be at the Worlds? Better it's uh you know it's our base wrestling training system I, I have every practice with with coach Rovad, Sean Bormat, and Mike Barwis we've we've laid out everything our strength and conditioning goes in with our wrestling which all works together we have a plan we mapped out from September 11th I wrestle and work backwards I can tell you what I'm doing every single day leading up to that world championship so I, I have a plan I don't know if anybody else has that plan, but that's a big thing I want to encourage the team to do is sit down with your coach, write out that plan. That's what I didn't do in 2009, I didn't do that in 10, I didn't do that in 12, I didn't ask to see the plan, I just followed blindly. Now I, I got to work with it, I understand it better, I asked why, and it's paying off. Now uh, in the finals against Ruth, I mean you scored some points, you really uh, made a statement I think in a lot of people's minds. Um, uh, how do you feel you like you wrestled well there? Was that the, the kind of wrestling that you were prepared to do? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I felt I wrestled really, really well. The first match I did great. Second match I wanted that pin. Uh, and then in that you know last period, I was up 10-2. I was just going to wait until a good opportunity came for another shot rather than risk something because I know he's good at cradles and pins. And I didn't really get after it there, but you know I, I had the match won. He couldn't get to me. He couldn't score on me. And that might be even more frustrating than like finishing off of that fall. So do you think the world's going to be ready for you? It's been a couple of years. I, I know you went and wrestled in Russia. They were calling you a hippie. And, I mean, do you think that they were really understand the, the Jake Herbert that we're going to see in Vegas? I don't think so. I'm bigger and stronger and faster. I have a better lifting program. I have a better training system. I have more experience and knowledge. I've, I've learned a lot more. So, barring any huge injury, you know, they're not going to know what's going to hit them. So talk about what you're looking to achieve at this camp. Uh, we're in the Springs for about a week or two, uh, getting ready uh, for the next step, which, um, you know, for us uh, is Pan Ams, right? Yep. Well, we're in our learning and strength building phase right now. So this is still my first week back, only on the mat once a day. It was nice not to do too much this morning, kind of learn some little technique, which is great. This afternoon, I got my one hard practice um, that I'll get in, and I just got Zahid Valencia, so I'm very excited to get a hold of him. Uh, he looked very impressive. Uh, and now, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're going to build on this week. Next week, we're still in a strength building phase. Pan Ams, yeah, that's a goal to win. But, you know, I got a Pan Am gold in 2011. I didn't get an Olympic medal. You know, which one do you think I want more? Well, sure, but that'll be a good test, obviously, the yep. Pan Ams. You've been to the event, um, and it's a big deal for the American uh, Olympic movement, the Pan Am Games. Uh, talk about, you know, what it would be like to go two in a row at that event. That'd be great, you know, because I got the Cuban there, which is, which is awesome. So if Sala shows up, it'd be awesome to get a win over him. But, you know, uh, the Pan Am Games, I'm not going to be set to peak there. And, and that's fine, you know, because I don't want to peak there. I want to peak at the World Championships. That's that's my big focus. The Pan Am Games is just a test to see where I'm at, to put myself in some position with Sala so that when the World Championships comes and i got to beat him to make the finals or i got to beat him to win a World Championship, I'm going to be as prepared as I can be to get that job done. Well, Jake, I know we're going to visit with you before uh, Las Vegas, but uh, looking good on day one, huh? Thank you. Yeah, feeling good. <laughs> All right, thanks.